We got another good one from Coach Chris from Danbury, Connecticut. 11U and 12U travel in-house. I heard a lot of talk recently about the concept of coaching confidence. I feel like we've been doing a decent job at it, but wondering if you had any tips. That's really good stuff. And, um, you know, one thing we always try to do is pump our players with confidence. And, you know, there's a difference between being cocky and being arrogant and then being confident. But I can honestly say I've never played with a good hitter or a good player that doesn't believe in themselves whether they're in the batter's box or they're on the pitcher's mound or they're out on defense, you know, they want the ball in that situation. And, you know, we have to teach our players to, to want it and, and to, to believe in themselves and trust in their, in their preparation and all the hard work that they do leading up to, until opening day. I'm sure you guys have seen it, but one of my favorite clips from last season, uh, Andrew McCutcheon was mic'd up. And I've talked about this on recent shows. And he was struggling. I think he was hitting 180 for the season. He wasn't having a great year. And he ended up hitting a homer in like the fourth inning. And he had the microphone on him. As he's rounding second base, he's talking to himself. And he's saying, I told you you were the best. I told you you were the man. And he's pumping himself up. And he got so much criticism after the game for talking like that when he was really struggling throughout the season. So I guess in the interview after the game, they said, you know, you're getting criticized based on what you were telling yourself. And he said, if I'm not going to believe in me, then who else will? He goes, because you guys are all going to doubt me before, before I'll ever doubt myself. And it was just the, the importance of positive self-talk and, and having that, that player, whether they're 10U or they're in the major leagues, be confident. You know, ha have a routine. Get in the batter's box. Go through, you know, whatever your routine is. I see players, they get in, they stare at their barrel. They take a big, deep breath, and it's kind of their way of just flushing out everything else, flushing out their parents, flushing out their coaches, flushing out the batting order, whatever position they're, they're playing on the field, and it's you against the pitcher on the mound. And it's the same thing you know, if, if you're on the mound and you might be struggling. It's, it's having that little flush it, stepping off the rubber, taking a big, deep breath, you know, whatever you've got to tell yourself to lock back in before the next pitch. But I think all of us struggled yeah. with it at times. There were times, and this is a true story, uh, 2014, I was playing in the minor leagues, and I made three errors all season. It was the best defensive year of my life. I played shortstop. I couldn't make it. I was, I was so confident that I was going to make every single play. I wanted the ball hit to me. Fast forward to the championship series. It's game one of the championship series. I made an error in the first inning. Didn't really think it got to me much. You know, whatever. Made an error. We're all going to make errors. Next ball's hit to me. I make another one. Two innings later, I, I, I had three errors in the first three innings of the game, and instantly my mind went to, Oh, I, I can't play shortstop anymore. I can't field a ground ball. And I start, so I went from three errors throughout, you know, 90 games to three errors in three innings. And it was all right here. It was all in my head. I, I wanted to take ground balls the next day. I wanted to relearn how to play shortstop. I was freaking myself out for no reason. And I, I was just, you know, just paranoid to, to have the ball hit to me just because, you know, I made a couple errors. And that was me being 24 years old. I can't imagine you know, a 12U kid making an error at shortstop with his parents screaming at him from the sidelines, that's tough and that's challenging. So, you know, when you talk about building confidence, it's, it's not being that coach or parent from the sideline that's yelling. It's talking to him in between innings, putting your arm around him, saying, hey, we're going to make errors. We're going to strike out. We're going to chase change-ups in the dirt. You know, that's all part of it. So we have to do a good job as leaders at letting them know it's going to happen, and then also how to handle those situations when they happen, because they're going to. You know, yeah. their bases are going to be loaded, and your pitcher's going to walk in the game-winning run. That's baseball. You know, it stinks, and we, none of us wanted it to happen, especially the pitcher on the mound. So getting them to, to, to trust their ability and, you know, coaching it up a ton before, before the, those situations, I think, is important. I mean, how many times have you been to a game, and, and this drives me crazy, and, you know, the hitter's up, and he takes strike one, and the coach, he looks down at the third base coach's box, and the coach is like this. He's already, and, and you, you look at the four hitter, and the four hitter's like, like what? It's, it's, it's only strike one, you know? So a lot of it does, like Coach Steve said, it does start with us as coaches. Are we pumping them up with, with confidence and energy, or are we sucking it out of them? When a, when a kid takes strike one and you go like this with your hands, that's sucking the energy out of them. That's, that's making them less confident that coach doesn't believe in me or, oh my, it's only one strike. We get three strikes. Instead, it's, boy, let's go, let's go. You got two more. Let's go, barrel this up, barrel this up. Now that's going in their head. Now they get up and it's a totally different mindset than you going like this or you kicking dirt or you going, it was right down the middle. You know, and the kid's like, all right, well, uh, you know, so I think it starts with us as coaches to really help teach these, these young ball players, these young kids, how to be confident in themselves and how we can 
you know, kind of help pump them up as well because then you'll see the rest of your players and their teammates doing the same thing. That's all right, Johnny, you got this one. Come on, you got it. And now, now there's a lot of energy and a lot of confidence on the team. So I think that that is a great question um, about confidence.